the lead up to today's class was in the last couple of weeks we had looked at statistics and posing questions and gathering collecting information so we had posed a number of questions and in class we developed a survey which we demoed in class there was one question about making sure that they could use a stopwatch to estimate how long a minute was. They took some of the surveys from the class situation and then they all went home with three or four and we brought back the information. So today's class, the aim of today's class, was to gather all that information together, to collate all the data and to present it back in graph form and give me a conclusion to the question. So we have posed the question, we collected and recorded our data, we need to analyse the data and interpret the results. Basically you need to come up with an answer for me. I'm wondering do adults or children tend to feel stronger about how harmful smoking is for your health? What's your answer? From your research, what have you found out? Their language skills are really letting them down. They can come up with a conclusion, but they're not sure how to explain why they found that out. And when it comes to an exam situation and they have to start putting down in paper why something is happening, they, they really struggle with it. Even the reading of the questions, the amount of language that's involved is the biggest drawback. Today they did really well, okay. They, now they, there was obvious pitfalls and different things that I could go back and pick faults with and um, query a little further, language being the big issue for them. But as far as getting the task, knowing what was involved, um, where you go and do the work, they, they completed unbelievably. So new colour and ten of those wee ones, um, orange for the number. And new colour and fuller. There was um, thirty wee squares on the pie chart, and um, if there was four, there was four for never. Lee would colour in four of the squares, and that's what Lee done on for the sometimes and all. He coloured in. We'd tell him how many to colour in and he would colour them. Well, we're getting a student line so we can mark out um, tallies that how much got on to the lowest one to the highest one that we have got on the sheets of paper here. So. To me the graph kind of, I would have to sit down and count those X's. Yeah, You'll see from some of the other graphs. Yeah, when I count them, yeah, I can. No, but you can just look. Mm -hmm. No, it's fine. It's perfect. It's perfect, okay? But what I do need you to do now is I need you to write in a conclusion on here so that when you stand up to tell the rest of the class, you're going to write the conclusion. Good, neat, clear writing, yeah? When you stand up to tell the rest of the class what your findings were, you're going to say that this was our question. Here's our graph. And from the graph, we think the following. Okay, so what are you telling me now? That there is more access around the sexy sex mark for the boys and the girls. Okay, and is there anything strange about that? Is there anything that I could query on it about the boys? Yes. What, what do you think I'm looking at here? I um, don't uh, know. The, these two, far um, the, the far out X's. Do you agree that some people could debate that conclusion with you? Yeah? But you're happy enough to stand over that that's what you believe and that's why you believe it. Uh, that's, that's it, okay. It was my first time standing up in front of the class and displaying the group work that I was in. Um, I felt sort of nervous, but not that much. And not really that shy, because there was nothing really to be shy about. Right, what did you find out? Adults felt stronger. Adults felt stronger about the fact that smoking was harmful for your health. Yeah. Would it be okay for me to say that both groups felt very strongly about it? Um, well, children not so many. Where's the children not so many that didn't feel strongly about it? Here. Okay, out here. Okay, fair enough. But do you agree that there's a good number of children that feel really strongly about it? Just like there's a good number of adults that feel really strongly? Yeah. But your conclusion was tell me what? That there's more adults and children. Okay, that the number was higher for the adults who felt really strongly. See, when you were doing the survey, did you ask adults why it was stronger? See my cycle. When we were talking about this, I moved from here to here, into here, up to here, and now we've analysed the data. 
we've interpreted the results and you've come up with another question. All right, and that cycle always works for statistics. You pose the question, you come back with the data, and when we have those results, we can always make further investigations. That's brilliant. Okay, that's what we're looking for. That's the data handling cycle. I don't really like maths, but I enjoyed today's class. Uh, today I found it easy, but sometimes it can be difficult. I was, it seemed like something different, but, but, but you'll get used to it sooner or later. Most of these kids dreaded maths. Coming in here, they absolutely dreaded it because they struggled with maths right through. And now to hear them today saying that this was great, there was nothing difficult about today's class, we were grand, we were able to do it, like that really shows you that you can do that and that is working for some of these kids and for most of these kids. Thank you.